Yeah, you gotta throw it. Yeah. yeah. Signature Anthony Bailey. Yeah. 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 <laughs> One, two, three. All righty, and uh, here we are with Anthony Valle, the man behind the event together with Candace Appleby. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Dave and I got it somewhat right. <laughs> all right, Anthony, how's it going? A lot of kids from all over the world, parents, got this on the World Wide Web. So, how's it going? Andre, it's just incredible. We've got a girl from Australia, kids from Florida, Maui, Oahu, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Utah, and did I mention California? Kids from all over. We got 55 kids, seven divisions, sup racing, sup surfing. You have a, I have a formula, Andre. Kids plus waves equals fun. <laughs> that sounds good, that <laughs> sounds good. So, okay, I'm a parent, and there are a lot of parents out there probably watching and asking, you know, I wanna get my kid into it. So take us through it. What's the age? What should they do? If you want to get into paddling, the first thing you should do is go to your local retailer. Your local retailer pretty much should have all the information you need to get started paddling. Take a lesson. Learn from the people who have been doing it. Don't just go out there and paddle. Go take a lesson and learn from the people that have experience and that are certified. Certified with the World Paddle Association or there's a number of other certifications. but. Get out on the water and paddle and have fun. What's the age group that you see like first getting on a paddle board on their own? Uh, you know, it just keeps getting younger and younger. Uh, we had six kids that were entered in the eight and under co-ed division. Um, our biggest age group actually was the nine to 11 girls and the 12 to 14 boys. So there's kids from all ages. We had a six year old competing, a seven year old that were actually competing in a competition in and out of the surf. So that's amazing. The largest demographics is actually among the younger kids. So that is good to know. Those are the people who will be cutting us off and taking <laughs> all of our waves a few years from now, right? So thanks for everything, Anthony. Uh, any shout outs you want to give out there? Yeah, I have one huge shout out to, you know, anyone out there that's just doing good for the benefit of the sport and people like you, Andre, and SupConnect, who really helped this sport grow. If it wasn't for you know, Facebook and social media and the top of that for our sport is SupConnect. So, I mean, honestly, without you guys, the sport wouldn't be growing as fast and people wouldn't be having as much fun. And for sure, this event wouldn't be possible. So thanks, Andre and everyone at SupConnect. All right. Thanks a lot, Anthony. And we got, it looks like we got Candace there calling for some more action. All right. Okay, we'll be back to the booth. Okay, Duke and Dave Bainey, take it away from now. You got it, Andre, and thank you, and thanks to A.V. and Candice and everybody who put this thing together. Pretty incredible event. Yeah, it is true what Anthony says. Uh, you know, SubConnect does help so much with getting stand-up paddling out there to the masses, you know, through their website as well as their live broadcasting to do the Wake Up Sub show get some of the top athletes in there to talk about sup. People get to call in and interact. Um, they just did that kind of live Q&A with Candice and uh, Danny Ching. That was so cool. That was really cool to see. And then, Did, did, did you see those guys at uh, Outpost of Holland out in uh, Michigan? They set up like stadium seating to watch that thing. Right, yeah. That so was killer. That is killer. So, you know, people actually, you know, getting together and watching that was just pretty neat. So SubConnect is kind of leading the charge 
lately with the live feed stuff, you know, as well as with the Surf Tech event. They did a great job. I, I guess they broke some Ustream rep records. Yeah, I was like, we had tw 23,000 people saw that claim. Right. So that <laughs> At least 23,000. Uh, but, I mean, that's pretty impressive, you know? And, uh, really impressive. When you really look, it honestly is Andre, Eric, and one other, you know, usually his brother or yeah. someone else. It's like three, four dudes max. So it's insane. <laughs> it's pretty classic. And it's amazing what those guys put together. And, and the reason that it comes out so well is because they're so passionate about it. Yes. You know, I mean, Andre, the guy is, I mean, he's brilliant. You know, he, he's he really is. He's a passionate guy, good guy. And, uh, you know, obviously they're... Every every um, live broadcast is going to get better, you know, yep. smoother replays. Well, we're seeing at this event compared sure. to what we did at the shootout. Uh, lots of improvements there with the split screens and, um, you know, the replays are, are awesome. Now we've got live scoring, which is great. So yep. Andre and the crew at Connect, Aaron and everybody just do an amazing job. We're so yeah. lucky to have them. For sure. Definitely top-notch production on shoestring budget, you know. Yeah. Like, it's insane. So... Hats off to those guys with their passion and their vision and their hard work. Yeah. And I'm always stoked to be here and help them out. And, and uh, we're having a good time. I we can't wait till some, some of these finals coming up, man. I can't wait to see Riggs surf again. Well, Riggs is not far away. His, he is um, coming up about in about, uh, about 30 minutes. And right now, uh, we are seeing some action in the 9 to 11 girls final. We just saw Seashell. Riviera get a, a nice little wave. And then there's Jessica Brackett. So cute. Yep. These kids are just incredible. No suit, no problem. No suit, no worries. <laughs> Alexandria Higgins trying to go on that little insider. There's Bella Ellis <laughs> on the inside. Dominating those little ankle slappers on the inside. All right, looks like we're going to go downstairs to give uh, an interview to uh, Gretchen from Boardworks. Take it away, fellas. Okay, everyone, I got Gretchen Gamble from Boardworks, one of today's sponsors. So, yeah. Gretchen. Oh so, yeah, we're okay. trying to mimic the Anthony Vela. Yeah. yeah so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Gretchen, uh, how? I mean, what do you think? How is it to be involved with an event like this? Oh, I am so honored to be part of this event today. I just think this is this has got to be one of my favorite events in the history of SUP, uh, just because it shows that there's such a bright future. <laughs> And these kids are so amazing, and it's just such a beautiful thing to see them all out, and they're so talented, and everybody's so happy, and just can't can't say more. That's right, and the, and the weather is not the best weather that Southern California has to offer, but uh, the kids are putting on a beautiful show, and you yourself, you 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 know, you have a daughter, you have a child. How is it to see these kids getting on it so early? Well, you know, um, back to the weather thing, that's the amazing things ab thing about kids is that, that everything's great with kids. They'll go out in anything, and, and it's inspiring for adults to, you know, they all have smiles on their faces, they're charging, and, um, yeah, it's, it's, that's not answering your question. That is so true, though, no, but that is true. Like, kids have no problem with weather. It's just when we get older, it gets tougher and tougher. Yeah, and... It reminds me of our daughter was in surf events and it's just like you get here and the kids all go out and they make the best of it no matter what and and they make it even better than anything else. That's right. So do not stand in the way of your kids having fun. Okay. Shine or rain, they will have fun. All right. Thanks a lot for the support, Gretchen. Thanks for everything. And Gretchen Gamble from Boardworks. And uh, back to the booth, guys. All right, thanks, Andre, and thank you, Gretchen. Do not stand in the way of your kids having fun, parents. Get them on the water as soon as they as possible. I'm pretty sure they have diapers that are waterproof. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are in the 12 to 14 boys final, and that's Ryan Maloney in red, starting right where he left off in the semifinal. 
So Ryan Maloney getting this final started. Joining Ryan in this final is in white, Max Fleming. In bronze, we're looking at Nick Scheel, blue, Noah Hopper, and in green, Josiah Brackett. So that is your 12 to 14 boys final. All right, looks like there's another little lull here, so we're gonna shoot it back to Andre and give Sean Sweet an interview in the box. Sweet waterware coming at you. Okay, everyone, we are here with one of the most lovely faces of paddleboarding. <laughs> and this is Sean Sweet. Even your name helps the cause, Sean. Come on. So Sean, uh, all the way from Honolulu, Hawaii. And uh, one of the today's sponsors. Thanks for sponsoring the event. And uh, how is it going for you? It's going great. I just love being here. I mean, this is just so cool to have something totally dedicated to the kids. You know, to have the focus be on them. And you can just tell how stoked all the kids are. And just like watching the littlest kids, of the under eight and under kids come in and get cheered and finish. The racing was fun this morning. You know, seeing the little kids cheer and everybody cheering them on. That is true. So parents and kids all having fun. It looks like the parents are having probably not as much as fun as the kids, right? I think the parents are a little colder and the kids are enjoying themselves so much they don't feel the cold. But, you know, the sun's peaked out a few times here and it's the rain is held off, so it's all good. So what's your takeaway from today's event, seeing what you see? What's the takeaway? I think for our first time event, the organization just blows me away. I mean, I think it's all of Candace's and Anthony's experiences and competition and seeing what has been done right. And uh, for an inaugural event, you'd never know it. I mean, you would think this event has been going on for 10 years. So for this to be the first one, and I know they'll debrief this week, and next year will be bigger and better, and sponsors stepped up, and, uh, you know, it's a good scene. That's right. It is incredibly organized. The kids, as always, they seem to have a great time. And Sean, thanks for everything you do. Keep it up. Keep us posted. Sean Sweet, we're going to make sure you check Sweet Waterwear. So Sweet Waterwear, go online and Google it and uh, check out all the great gear that Sean has uh, for you. So thanks a lot, Sean. You bet. Thanks, Andre. All right, back to the booth, guys. All right. Thank you, Andre. And during that interview, we were able to witness Josiah Brackett's wicked forehand snap. Maybe we could get a replay of Josiah's turn. Is that possible, boys? He's in... Uh... Josiah is in green, and uh, his turn was a man turn. In fact, Dave, during the break, you even mentioned Chuck Patterson. There was some Chuck Patterson-esque. It was Chuckish. It was Chuckish. He chucked that right-hander. As sometimes we call him the chulk. <laughs> <laughs> he may chulk you out if you... <laughs> Well, that was a sick wave, and Ryan Maloney trying to get back on track. Hasn't gotten a lot since his first wave. I hope he didn't peak too early in his semi. He I don't know. Kind of dominated. You know, with his background and the whole triathlon thing, I know those guys, you know, they've, they're focused on saving something for that, that little kick at the end. So I imagine Ryan's got plenty left in the tank. Yeah, but I think... Uh, I want to say Noah got a pretty decent wave that set, that last set too. So there was a little exchange there. Fortunately, we don't have the line scoring available available to us. Hopefully, hopefully we get that going before the uh, Junior Pro Final. Yeah, we'll have to get our best people on that. See if those guys can get it going. But hopefully everybody at home is up to speed on what's going down out there on the water. It looks like... Uh, Things could get interesting here, Dave. When I look to the southwest. Right, well there goes there goes Maloney on the inside. All right, Maloney. Nice long one. That's gonna be a decent wave. It reformed for him. I kind of second guessed his his uh, choice, but it actually lined up and he got a little reform. Yeah, it might have been his, his best scoring wave so far. There was Max Fleming trying to get into one. But that horizon's looking a little bit ominous. It does. There could be some rain headed our way. Like five, 
<laughs> My Jake's in an AV standing over me, about to slap me in the back of the head. <laughs> you know, it'll start raining as soon as I have to start taking down the surf tech tent. Oh, for sure. That's when it starts to dump. And everybody bails. All right, well, another lull in action, so we're just going to talk to interesting people. And we got Andre going to talk to the folks from Indo Boards up here next. Live interview. Take it away, oh, fellas. Got Hunter. Showing yeah, up. Hunter's there. Okay, everyone, I am here. I am Andre Niemeyer from SubConnect, and this is Hunter from Indo Boards. So, Hunter, your product has an incredible cross section with what they're doing out there, and that is paddle boarding. So, tell us about it. Well, there's nothing out there that simulates the movement that you get on a paddle board on water. And the Indo board, we have two components to the Indo board that go under the deck. We have a, an air cushion and we have a cylinder. Now the cylinder is basically side to side, but with the air cushion, now you've got 360 degrees, which is what open water stand up paddling is. If you're in flat water, in like the, the harbor over here, it's calm, it's kind of rail to rail, so the roller simulates that, but our air cushion is what we really focus in on in training the SUP athletes. So this is a perfect transition equipment for people who are inland, who don't have access to the ocean, we've had a lot of flat water, so see, there are no excuses, right? <laughs> Just get an endo board. Absolutely, when you can't go out though, you got to go endo. Oh, there you go, there you go, I like that, that's a good line, good line, that's, that's right, because we're spoiled here, right, like, Southern California, we've got good weather, but you might be in frozen conditions, the water is just frozen, so you can't do it, get an indoor board, get hooked, practice inside, get your balance squared away, and next, next thing you know, you're ra racing with all these people out here, so. That's the thing, you can, you can simulate actually stand up paddle in your living room instead of sitting on the couch watching television sipping a beer and eating chips you can sit in beer and eat chips and stand up and rock and roll <laughs> there we go hunter from inner boards everyone thanks a lot hunter all right, all right keep up the great work all right thank all righty, you. take care okay guys back to the booth all right thanks andre and hunter got to get myself one of those indo boards so i can win when it's cold and freezing up in Santa Cruz, I can train on the inside of my living room. Definitely one of the most uh, popular cross-training tools for a long time. Before even cross-training, I think it was a term in surfing. Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. Those things are fun. Yeah, we got them on a floor model at our shop. You know, we always get sketched out when Grandma's hop on that. <laughs> You're like, lawsuit. Yeah. All right, there's Max Fleming. Oh, he's about to blast that thing. Nice. Nice little rebound off the white water. He saw that thing coming, and this thing's going to line up a little bit on the inside, Dave. Yep. This is a great way for, for Max. Or is it? Yeah, for yep. Max. Yeah, Max Fleming. Yeah, so I love that. Completed a great turn. Kept going. The wave, you know, cooperated for him, and he finished the, the wave off nice. So. Yeah, really, really well surfed wave. By him and and out the back in blue is Noah Hopper trying to get he's trying to hopper into this one and he does. So that's a nice little left hander, and it looks like it's going to line up a little bit potentially on the inside if he can stay with it, and he cannot. So Noah doing a good job keeping it going. Well, let's go ahead and send it over to Andre. I believe he has one of our international superstars with him. All right, everyone, and we are here live on an interview now. I got to tell you, Christy Page, I've seen Christy Page on SubConnect for a while now. I think it's been about two years or so. Some amazing photos. Christy Page comes all the way from Australia. You know, though, she, so, so why, don't, why don't you go ahead and introduce her? I mean, what do you say about Christy Page? We, we're so honored to have you at our event. And, I mean, it's not every day when someone comes from Australia. The exciting part for me, it's our first trip overseas. So I'm curious, why did you decide to make your first trip overseas for the inaugural Junior Pro and Youth Sup Fiesta? Um, well, 
You see, um, I don't get to compete in the junior division at home. I've got to compete in the open women's or the open men's even sometimes. And so, like, getting to get compete against people my own age doesn't come very long very often. I was just stoked to be invited, really. It's nice to be invited to these kind of things. And especially all the way over the world, think I'm good enough for that. And I was just really happy with that, actually. So, Chris, you tell us, uh, you know, Australia is a big place. I know you're from, like, I believe, uh, tell us what region you're from and what the surf conditions are contrasted to, to uh, today's conditions. Uh, okay, so I live in Ocean Grove, Victoria. So if most people know where Bells Beach is, I live about half an hour away from Bells Beach. So that's on the east coast of Victoria, uh, east coast of Australia, sorry. And then um, compared to here... My home break is Ocean Grove, so it's pretty similar to here, but like a lot of the other waves, like Bells or we used to have the offshore bombies at home, um, they're a bit more powerful than these waves, but no, nah, it's nice to be out here anyway. What about the temperature? How is the temperature? <laughs> um, pretty similar. Well, the water temperature is actually a bit warmer than what I have at home at the moment, so that's nice, but um, yeah, it's pretty similar. Like, we get hot days and cold days. Our weather's a bit bipolar, too. <laughs> and I got to say, I love not only Christian, but your dad. I, I'm so happy and moved by how much your dad supports you in the sport of, of, of paddle boarding. I would, and I would say that's a great, one of the greatest messages that people can actually see through Christy Page is the beautiful relationship between a you know, father and daughter. So give him a shout out. So Christy's dad's as well. Alrighty, so uh, <laughs> anything else you want to say? Well, how is your experience here? Um, it's been amazing. I've had such a warm welcome into America. Everyone's been so friendly. It's been so nice to surf like other sub surfers because there's not that many where I come from. And I know I'll definitely be coming back. It's just, I love it here. There we go. Anything you want to add, uh, Anthony? Uh, I'm just stoked she's going to be coming back. And for those of you who don't know, check out Christy Page's Facebook fan page, engage with our fan page, and you can always tweet in to the live HD webcast at hashtag SupFiesta. Thanks, Andre. Thanks, Christy. We got more heats coming up. Yeah, that's right. More action right there. Thanks. Thanks, Christy. Good luck. All right. Christy Page. Awesome to have her coming over from Australia. Um, I'm going to have to talk to her in a little bit because I think she's going to feel a little bit more at home up in Santa Cruz. She needs to come up and visit us for the shootout next that's year. That's true, that's true. She did mention that the way the water's a little colder in, in her hometown at the moment. Yeah. And one thing she did say that uh, stood out to me was how um, she got to travel across the planet, you know, because of stand-up paddling. Yeah. And that's what's so cool. Like, even for myself, I've gone to places I probably would have never gone, you know, to race and or, you know, just would have never gone, but I'd go there for a race or an event and Man, it's just so fun, all the little opportunities there is once you get, you know, settled into competing and things like that. You know, even like, I mean, I probably never would have visited somewhere as cool as like Wisconsin. Yeah. And I went to Wisconsin and raced, and that was just cool. I went it to D.C. Cool. and raced, and I mean, that's just neat, man. And that is a neat opportunity, and just, you, you know, even within the United States, there's a lot of different cultures out there. And it's kind of neat to go see how everybody else lives and um, speaking of how people are living, there's Max Fleming. Had a nice little ride. So Max Fleming has been uh, kind of on fire in this heat. Max taking this thing all the way to the inside there. Yep, looks like that's the end of this heat. So as we wind down this scene and get into the next one, looks like we're going to go to Scott from Ocean Minded on the spot with Andre with a little interview. All right, Scott. So Scott from Ocean Minded here. Now, Scott, I've seen Ocean Minded involved with a lot of different events and athletes as well. So how is it to be involved with this kids' event organized by one of your athletes, Candace Appleby and also Anthony? Uh, this, this event has been great for us, um, you know, this is the future of our industry, and you know it's great to be able to support, um, especially Candice and Anthony. Um, they've done an amazing job with this event, and uh, we're just really happy to be a part of it. So you've been involved with like a lot of clean water activities and s supporting a lot of the athletes. I've seen you ocean-minded at, at a lot of different events. What is unique about today's event? Uh, what's unique is you know having the pro juniors come out um you know it's showing them how we give back to com 
back to the community and uh, giving beach cleanups. Uh, you know, it's good to pass that message along. And, uh, you know, having the kids down here, they've been doing a great job just running down the beach, picking up trash. So we're really excited. All righty. So, yeah, there you go. Ocean Minded spreading the word not only through the adults, but also through the kids and uh, keeping you ocean minded. So to learn more, go to oceanminded.com. Check out their sandals, all their apparel there. And uh, thanks a lot, Scott, for the support of the event. And uh, we'll be right back to the booth. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. All right. Thank you to all of the crew over at Ocean Minded for being our presenting sponsor for this event and supporting all of the uh, a lot of the uh, SUP events, races, and, and surf contests that happen uh, all over the world. So Ocean Minded is an incredible company, incredible products. Their footwear is amazing. So we're super stoked to have them on board. And we are kicking off the 12 to 14 girls final right now. And in red, we have Lara Clayton. She's over here from Maui. In white, Izzy Gomez. In bronze, Kalia Alexio. In blue, we have Shea Foudy. Green, Christine Shoemaker. And in black, Aliana Clark. Pretty stacked heat, Dave. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We've seen all these girls get great rides um, during this event. And, uh, you know, Izzy Gomez, as we said earlier, sang the national anthem to set the whole event off. That so was pretty cool. impressive. And, uh, yeah, let's see if they can get some waves. I know a lot of these girls tend to stay pretty active and catch a lot of waves, so let's just see if the ocean provides that. Yeah, it's a little more challenging out there. You can see the girls are all kind of paddling south right now, so the wind has picked up a little bit. So the conditions are maybe a little bit harsher than they were um, in their semifinal heat. Um, I was down on the beach during Izzy's heat, and I, I was really impressed with how well she was surfing uh, in that semifinal.